are you doing? I am YouTubing us. Oh my goodness. Hey everybody. What you're, are the steps? You're a step to watch out for. That was Aaron criticizing my stepping. You're kind of preoccupied with the I wasn't even looking into it. Now I am. While I step. So we are here at La Bufadora, enjoying our much-deserved break before we go home this evening. Um, sorry, a big notification coming up. But I decided this is, this is a couple of our guys' first time seeing this site, so it should be exciting. Let me see. I can't flip around, so I'm going to show you La Bufadora channeling up. The waves, even small waves, kind of channel through those rocks in a really cool um Oceany explosion. It hits all kinds of natural tide pools up here. Waiting for a really big one to come up. Water's a little calm today, so we may not be able to get what we're looking for. Come on, baby. <laughs> that one's a little bit better. Sometimes it gets all the way up, it channels all the way up to the rocks. You can see where it's still a little wet there, maybe in, on the camera, uh, where the spray is actually shot up. When the tide comes in, so when the tide really comes in, that's really, really where you see the explosions. But we're just enjoying our walk around through the bazaar, looking for souvenirs and trinkets. It's kind of a nice place, place to relax and to unwind. And I am on a quest for knickknacks for my little girl, hoping that I can find a My Little Pony plushie of some kind here. Shh, don't tell Lydia. Jackie, don't let Lydia hear this. But so far, my, it's, it's not been very fruitful. There's like no My Little Pony stuff in this bazaar. There's other plushies like Pokemon is apparently bigger down here. Uh, there's plenty of Pokemon plushies, but I don't want to get my child into yet another cartoon. So... Looking for My Little Pony plushies, something that I can bring back as a souvenir. But we'll see. Maybe she just needs a, a cute toy or just a cute little trinket to remember you from this. Well, they're not getting very high today by comparison, but you know, hopefully you get the right idea. Anyway, uh, we love you guys. We're having a great time. That one's a little bit bigger. Look at that. Uh, really enjoying our time here and we're going to be leaving uh, this afternoon slash evening. We'll go back, get our stuff together, maybe take a little little siesta, kind of uh, relax. People get a little bit worn out during La Bouffe and uh, want to take a nap. So we'll head out for five o'clock tonight sometime around there. Cross the border probably late. Probably get across the border around seven would be my guess, depending on how busy it is. And uh, then we're going to be crashing at my in-laws house at Andy and Kristen's and we're looking forward to that. Mostly because we'll all have service again, we'll all have like American showers uh -huh, that aren't filled with salt water and uh, or whatever minerals are in there. And yeah, it's gonna be a really good trip. It's been a really good trip. Thank you so much for all your support for us. Uh, we will continue to update you guys on what's happening and uh, hope to see you again soon. Bye, bye everybody. Eli, say something amazing. Uh, live fast, die young, or live long. And prosper? And, I don't know. <laughs> live long and that's the prosper. cool version of YOLO. I didn't think there was one. I thought YOLO was the cool version of YOLO. Live fast, die young's been around for so long, though. Like YOLO is... Carpe diem. Carpe the heck out of that diem, yo. You gotta say the whole thing in Latin, not just two words. Carpe the heck out of diem. <laughs> that's not Latin. That's English. English. All right, I'm going to stop torturing you guys. Bye. I love you all. Take care. <laughs>